Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. It's time for another episode of Top of the Shop, the series where we take a look at the best builds from the previous week on the Scrap Mechanic Workshop. Now, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Top of the Shop, I'm going to leave a link up in the corner there, as well as down in the description for the playlist of this series, so you can get all caught up with these amazing creations. Now, in today's episode, we've got some really amazing creations, and also a couple really strange ones that we're going to be taking a look at. It's gonna be loads of fun guys so let's get started all right so first up on the lift we've got tractor no mod created by no no GT now there's not much to say about it it's a tractor it's vanilla so for any purist scrap mechanic players out there this is the one for you now this is really interesting look at this guys there are square wheels but it's really really interesting when we spawn it in and see what actually happens so look at this though this is absolutely amazing guys this is all vanilla and look, these are satellite dishes built as the rear tractor wheels. Now, take a look at this, guys. We're going to take it off the lift and boom, look at that. You saw it right there. Those wheels actually went around it like an actual tire tread. All right, so let's hop up into the seat right here and let's see what we got from the outside. So this is actually a very big tractor. We played with some tractors in some of the previous episodes of Scrap Mechanic Top of the Shop, uh, but I'd say this is probably the largest one. And hold on, look at this. I was trying to figure out what these are, and these are the potted plants used as a rear axle. So vanilla is really cool, guys, and I think I'm going to start a vanilla series during the live streams starting next week uh, with a piston house, and I'm really excited for that. But look at this. This is amazing. The wheels don't lag whatsoever when you start moving along the ground. Uh, there's even like a little wheelie bar back here just in case there was too much power going to those back wheels. But look, we're chugging along this little hill here. And it is just a satisfying build, guys. Looking, just look, that's a satellite dish wrapped around with wooden chain. It's just such a marvel to look at. So one thing I do want to do, though, is I just want to get it back on the lift one more time here. And I want to just see exactly where these bearings are and how they're interacting. So it seems like, okay, so there's basically four separate iterations of this, like, fork design right here. So the fork just tilts in and it's not connected to the next one over so these two right here they aren't connected and then if you move to the next one these ones aren't connected either and okay they aren't linked together they are mounted here on the staircase railing on each side of the circle there of the satellite there so when we remove it you can see each one goes into place so overall though guys I gotta say this is such an amazing build and it really does get me in the mood to build in vanilla so I'm looking forward to starting that new thing next week with you guys and it's gonna be loads of fun and this build is truly amazing and it really is inspiring and I hope it inspires you guys as well and you should definitely check it out on the Steam Workshop uh, just to see these really really awesome rear tire treads so this is definitely a very very good build and if you love vanilla scrap mechanic then I highly recommend it all right guys so here it is um this is the next creation we're going to be looking at from the Steam Workshop, from the top of the shop. It's it's on it's on top of the shop. It's called Duck. It's created by Demon. Let's spawn it in. Look at this, guys. Just look at this amazing build. I cannot fathom the work, the expertise, the dedication to this game, to this build. To this duck it's a duck okay it's, it's a duck it's on the top of the shop my thumbnail my title we're not clickbait you can actually go and see for yourself right now this is on the top of the shop now this joke has been done before on the steam workshop I have seen just plain ducks rise to the top before uh, so this is nothing that's necessarily new to the steam workshop but it's still a fun little thing I know uh, people might get sick of a joke like that, but I mean, come on, there's no harm done. And honestly, at the end of the day, the duck made it to the top of the shop fair and square. There's nothing to be said about it, guys. It's there. There's nothing we can do now except appreciate the duck and move on. So all I can really say, guys, is this duck is ascending to a higher plane. All right, so next up we've got, wait, okay, wait, wait. I just want you guys to know that that duck is the actual duck from the workshop. I did not spawn my own duck in. I went to the actual workshop link 
and clicked on subscribe and spawned it in, just so you guys know. But here we go guys, we've got another really amazing creation. This is the Avenger series Mark III. This is a new version coming out from Ashman Industries. Now Ashman, if you guys don't already know, He's like pretty much on the top of the shop every week and rightfully so. He makes amazing cars and he deserves to be on the top of the shop because these things are amazing. And they're just different iterations from the original, but every single one adds a unique new feature and I absolutely love it. So here we go, we're gonna spawn in the Avengers series Mark III and look at this. now. Compared to all the other cars that we've been seeing from Ashman, uh, this one is a lot more minimalistic. You can see here there's a lot more open space on either side. The wheel wells protrude out from the side of the car and they really give this a unique look. And so you might be thinking, wow, yeah, it's just a car, I suppose. But look at this, look at this spider web here. Look at this connection tool, guys. Look at all of these connections and wires and things like that. There's more to it than just a simple car. So with the buttons and switches, we're gonna press one. Let's see what that does. Ooh, look at that. It turns on some lights and oh, I actually, I really like that. When you turn the lights on, the A for Ashman Industries appears on the front right there. That is actually, that is really, really cool. All right, so two. What the heck? Holy mackerel, look at this, guys. It's not a car. It's a hover vehicle. Are you kidding me? This is so cool. Just look at the way it turns, too, with the wheels at the front. You, the wheels at the front lean back and forth. Wow, this is so cool. Let's press 2 again, and we're going to go back into car mode for a second. Just like so. Oh, dude, that is amazing. Yo, Ashman, if you're watching, mad props, because that is so cool. Okay, three. What are these? I think we got some... Are those spud guns? Four? Oh, okay, whoa. I just pressed it. What if we press and hold? Oh, yeah, there it is. That's a lot of firepower. What does five do? Okay, five is the rear thruster there, just to give you a little bit of an extra boost. All right, so after some looking around, I realized when you press three, there's actually more than just that front turret that's supposed to come out there. On the sides there, there are also some mini guns. Now, it is kind of unfortunate. You have to kind of paint these sometimes to get them to actually pop out, but look at that. We have extra mini guns on the side as well as on the top, and we've got the spud guns there in the front as well. So let's see, I'm gonna turn the uh, turrets back into the car. We're gonna turn into hover mode. Um, and we're gonna see what this hovering is all about. Wow, it is so cool. All right, so let's press W here. We're gonna drive forward, and it's just super smooth. There must be some type of gyro or stabilizer inside of this thing, because look at this, guys. It does not want to tip over whatsoever, and this was a huge surprise. I was not expecting this to turn into a hover car. Uh, this is very uh, different from all the other Ashman Industries vehicles that we have seen, and it is truly impressive. Uh, like we saw before, guys, the tilting wheels at the front to turn is just such a cool little touch. So now, so now let's try and uh, bring the turrets out up in the air here. Okay, the other two are stuck on the sides there. You know what? We can't not have those. So let's actually touch back down on the ground here. So now we've got hover with our turrets. Now, one thing I love is when you're like in a flying creation or more so a hovering creation, when you shoot stuff, it usually launches you back. So let's press and hold this. Yeah, look at that. Okay, hold on. Okay, it, it goes to show the kickback on spud guns and stuff in this game. But look, if we press and hold four, just look at that. Look at how fast it starts to send us flying backwards. I mean, you could definitely power a flying vehicle with spud guns alone. So guys, this creation is truly, truly impressive. I am so surprised by what this vehicle has to offer. I highly suggest you go on the Steam Workshop and download this creation. Make sure you leave a like too, because this is some phenomenal vehicle creation in Scrap Mechanic, guys. Ashman is an amazing builder, and you should definitely check it out. All right, so next up on the lift, we've got a Corvette C5 cart. This looks like a really, really awesome dune buggy. So this build was created by some Patty, and this looks absolutely awesome, guys. So let's spawn it in here. And now I just finished making a vehicle that used wishbone suspension and stuff. And this is new stuff to me, guys. I'm not good with it. Uh, so I'm sure seeing something like this is going to be really awesome. Yeah, look at this, guys. This is 
This is crazy. Look at all the pipe pieces. This is definitely a very minimalistic build because of the fact that it's all pipe pieces and hardly any surface or blocks whatsoever and it's definitely using a lot of mods I would imagine or a few mods anyway to make it look as good as it does and nonetheless though guys just look at this. It looks so cool. I love being able to take a look at all the little detail works and all those pipe pieces. But with that said though, I think the funnest part though is definitely to drive it. So let's hop into the main driving seat right there. Look at that. We've got some really, really awesome wheels actually. Those... I gotta actually use these wheels in something. Alright, so let's take it for a spin though. Look at that. On the front, you can see there is a fan. So as we uh, drive, it spins the fan. I feel like maybe you would want to like press a switch or something and have it on permanently. And this vehicle doesn't have any switches actually, speak of the devil, so uh, I guess all you can really do is drive around in this thing, but look at this. The suspension is so tight and very, very responsive and the turning is really good. Holy, you can actually stick to the ground in this thing. It's, it's hard to believe how stuck to the ground you are. I'm trying to like turn and flip this thing over and it, it just won't flip over. Alright, so this is actually the map with the large canyon. Now, I am on the wrong side, so I'm gonna go over to the other side because we gotta take this thing off some sweet jumps. Alright, so I was actually heading over to the other side of the canyon, and I just remembered, guys, there's this side of the canyon here. Now, this is the crazy one with the double jump with the island in the middle where you have to go over the first jump, land on an island, and then take another jump over to the other side. So I figured, you know what, this is actually probably one of the best ways to check this out now. I don't know if this is going to be fast enough. Now, I'm not usually one to mess with people's creations here, guys, but I do want to make sure we're going to make it. So I'm just, okay, I don't think these ones are connected. So those two are connected. I want to make sure we make it over this, uh, just so I, it makes it look like I'm a little bit better of a driver as well, actually. So here we go, guys. Let's try and make the double canyon jump. Okay, jump number one. Okay, we made it. Uh-oh, I have no momentum to make it to the next one, though, I don't think. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. All right, let's see. We're going to back it up as far as we can right onto this rock. And here we go. Launch it. Come on. Oh, look at that. It made it. We made it. Okay, that is, like, almost impossible to do. But this vehicle is so stable. It's so low to the ground. And you, I max these engines out. You can max these engines out, and it doesn't even matter. This thing is still not flipping over. Just look at this. Oh my god, this is actually really fun to drive. We just did an amazing donut. This is such an awesome buggy, guys. It looks amazing and something I think you should definitely check out. All right, so speaking of vanilla creations, here's another vanilla build. This is a dragster created by Flytrap. It's no mod, and he says, hope you have fun and like it. So let's spawn it in, though, and see what this is all about. It is, again, all vanilla. Now, okay, look at this. I have built things in the past that uses these gigantic wheels. I think it was actually my F1 race car. So, oh, look at this. We got a wheelie bar in the back. Even more of the barrels along the front. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at this. How many thrusters are there? Is it just one row of thrusters? Either way, that's a lot of thrusters. We also have a downward thrust right there. Really cool looking wings and spoilers. All right, so let's see. We got a massive roll cage. We're going to squeeze in somehow through that roll cage. And we are now in a drag car now. Look at this. Oh, I just realized there is not a single actual wheel. Okay, no, okay, I take that back. There are two wheels back here on the wheelie bar. But the wheels that are driving it are just two different sized barrels. That's rather interesting. So let's see, we're gonna go, you know what, actually over here this way in between the giant half pipe is probably a good spot to do a little bit of a speed test here. So let's see, we're gonna line it up. This is not an official drag race track or anything like that, but that is okay. So we got two buttons and switches. I have a feeling one is for downward thrust and one is for forward thrust. But let's just make sure here. One. Okay, yeah, one is the forward thrust. And two. Two is the... Oh, two is just the wheelie bar. Oh, I see. When you press W, that's what activates the downward thrust. Okay, so we got the wheelie bar. We're going to turn that. Okay, we're going to press one and then we're going to press W. So here we go. In three, two, one. One. W. Here we go, cruising along, oh yeah, this is fast, this is really fast, whoa, we just got airborne, did you see that, oh, big accident, and oh no, we're still okay, we got airborne, I think that shows the forward thrust is that much more powerful than the downward thrust, so as soon as we came off the ground, the forward thrust was giving it way more power than the downward thrust could ever push down, now let's try this again going this way, 
It does, it does drive pretty smooth. Oh boy, we're going fast. We're going fast. That's a rock. We almost hit the rock. Wow, we didn't even flip. How does it not flip? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. So I gotta say, this is actually a really cool build. And like I mentioned before, guys, seeing these vanilla creations is really getting me all amped up. So guys, if you gotta go fast, then make sure you check out this awesome dragster on the Steam Workshop. All right, guys, next up, we've got Egg Dog. Now... I didn't know what Egg Dog was until I saw this creation on the top of the shop. So I had to do some YouTubing, and I gotta say, this is actually hilarious. I, I absolutely love Egg Dog now, I'm obsessed with Egg Dog, and you should be too. And now this was created by It's Your Boy Oof, and he said this is the best thing ever. So basically, if you don't know who Egg Dog is, look at this video. So there's a link there on the actual Steam Workshop page, and it brings you to a YouTube video of Egg Dog. There's a few of them actually. And they are absolutely hilarious. And so this is a scrap mechanic version of Egg Dog. So let's spawn him in. There he is. Oh my goodness, he's like this giant monolithic creature with a weird, very weird face. And he's not really doing anything. And I don't think he... Does he do anything? Okay, no. Egg Dog does not do anything. But... I have an idea. Now, like I said, Egg Dog here doesn't do anything, but I'm gonna make a couple little modifications to this to make it even more like the Egg Dog meme. So bear with me, guys, for one moment while I try this out. So like I said guys, I was checking out some builds yesterday from the top of the shop just to see what I was going to be looking at today and I looked up Egg Dog and I thought I was expecting something from this build that it didn't have so I wanted to make sure it had it. Now if you know Egg Dog, you're going to understand what's about to happen here but here we go guys in 3, 2, 1, there we go. Oh yeah, come on now, that is Egg Dog, right? <laughs> Oh man, this is actually hilarious. Now, this is what I was expecting it to do when I downloaded it off of the uh, Steam Workshop. <laughs> oh my god, when I was watching the video of Egg Dog, I was actually laughing. Look at this, it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> oh man, see guys, now this is Egg Dog. Now, if the creator of this somehow happens to be watching this video, uh, then let me know if I can upload this to the workshop. I might do it anyway because it's just such a funny thing. And of course I would give credit to the original builder of this Egg Dog. But that, that is Egg Dog right there guys. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but from what I've seen, this is about as Egg Doggy as it gets. So yeah, it's definitely a ridiculous build. It's on the top of the shop though guys. Make sure you go and check it out because it's kind of ridiculous. And make sure you go and educate yourself on Egg Dog. Just look at it. It just keeps going up, and up, and up, just like Egg Dog. Alright guys, so this is the last creation we're going to be taking a look at. It is Mach 5 from Speed Racer, a very iconic car. Now this was created by 3W Away, a creator that we have seen in previous episodes of Top of the Shop. They make some absolutely amazing builds, and no doubt this is going to be another good one. So, let's spawn it in here. Now, I've never actually watched Speed Racer whatsoever. Now, a lot of people have suggested to me to build the Speed Racer car as well. Uh, and it's a very, very unique design. You can see it's got like, like a, a trident front. I don't even know what you would call that. Trident sounds very official. Uh, so it's a really cool car. You can see it's open concept. There's no, uh, there's no roof or anything to the main area there. Uh, and this is looking like a rather interesting build. So we might as well just hop right into the driver's seat just like so. Now look at this guys, this is... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we've got some suspension glitch in here or something. Now let's see here. Okay, so there's gotta be steering glitch and there's... Okay, so there's no actual wheel steering whatsoever. Alright, so let's see, we got some buttons and switches though. One. Oh, there you go, we got a little side door. Two. 
Ah, we got the headlights and three... What? Okay, what was that? Three. It does a jump. Okay, so... This is probably something that would help if I understood or knew of Speed Racer the show. And maybe if we're driving along, we press it, it does like a jump. Okay, yeah, it does. So I'm assuming that's probably what that's for, though, right? Is to do some type of, like, jump. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about this whole aspect of the build. Um, but nonetheless, this is actually really fun to drive. And it is extremely fast. And sometimes it's actually kind of nice to have a suspension glitch uh, to kind of help you with the steering. Now, let's see. Can we do this? Let's try this like an actual half pipe here. We got the jump capability, so here we go. We're going to give it the jump. Okay, hold on. Nope. Okay, we're actually doing some cool tricks. Wow. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> there we go. We did land on our wheels, though. It's kind of difficult, uh, I'm not going to lie, to drive with that suspension glitch. But, guys, this is still a really awesome vehicle. It's really, really fast. It looks absolutely amazing as well. It does look quite like that Mach 5 Speed Racer car that we do know. Alright guys, so this video was kind of like the duck versus egg dog thing. Now, my vote goes to egg dog. I love this modified version that I made, but I know there are some scrap mechanic lovers out there that are obsessed with the duck, and they would never waver in favor of the duck. That, that actually kind of rhymed, but I have my egg dog here, guys, for one final ascension to the egg dog heavens. Now, the question is, can I hit that switch? There we go, there's one. Two. Oh god, it's starting to get kind of laggy. And three. Okay, guys, this might have been a huge mistake, but there we go. We've got the three egg dogs rising up to the heavens. Now, this is really laggy, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. But thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Top of the Shop, as well as Endless Scrap Mechanic, guys. If you did enjoy these builds or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.